Hi everybody, welcome back to Crypto Queen. Sorry it's been so long since we've last uploaded. Um, BTC price has been crazy. It's been all over the place. Right now it's at 9,393. Um, it jumped from like 7,200-ish a few days ago up to 10,500. Now it's back around 93. Um, so we'll see. It's pretty exciting. There's a lot going on. There was a lot of news out and we've just been so crazy that we missed some of it, but there's a lot of different articles tonight. Um, I have a couple here that I'm going to go over more technical analysis a little bit, um, but it's pretty interesting. And just before we get started, this is always a reminder, this is not financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Uh, make sure to always do your own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose. So with that being said, let's get started here. Uh, Bitcoin price tackles 9.5K as analysts spot potential breakout signal. BTC price was challenging $9,500 on October 29th as the largest cryptocurrency preserved its higher levels as after a bullish breakout over the weekend. So here is the cryptocurrency market daily overview. Analyst Bitcoin suggests further upside down on the cards. Data from Coin360 showed BTC USD repeatedly attempt a fresh push past $9,500 on Tuesday. The level seemed difficult to crack, however, with each break towards $9,600 met with rejection. At press time, Bitcoin was circling $9,430, volatility remaining after a sudden drop to $9,200 earlier in the day. And here's the Bitcoin 7-day price chart here um, so you can see it was just kind of staying the same then all of a sudden shot up and now it's kind of leveled out still rumors around China's public commitment to blockchain technology continue to form a major talking point among analysts as coin telegraph reported cryptocurrency policy did not feature in officials latest remarks which nonetheless appeared to fuel Bitcoin surge on social media commentators were still eyeing further upside down potential Hashtag Bitcoin keeps pushing for a breakout, popular account Crypto Rand summarized in a Twitter update on Tuesday. After the last few months of events, I feel more comfortable with only Bitcoin in my portfolio than none at all. Fellow account Rhythm added about Bitcoin's longer term prospects. Other developments focus on the consumer side. Backed, the institutional trading platform, which saw all-time highs for its Bitcoin futures in recent days, said its consumer app and Starbucks payment partnership would be live in H1 2020. Altcoins spend a day tracking sideways. Altcoin markets, meanwhile, posted a day of flat trading, mimicking Bitcoin's daily performance with 1-2% to moves up or down. Ethereum, the largest altcoin by market cap, was up 1.4% at $187. The leader in the top 10 was Bitcoin Cash, BCH, which advanced 10% amid turmoil and major backer Bitman, Bitmain. As Cointelegraph noted, a sudden reshuffle saw co-founder McCree Kachun Zahn ousted. The overall cryptocurrency market cap advanced slightly on the day, reaching $251 billion. Bitcoin's share fell slightly to 67.7%. So it's just talking about the jump in price, um, just kind of how it's been. But you can see here again in the chart, it was really consistent for a while. Uh, this is just the past seven days um, but it was kind of in the same seven thousand dollar range it shot up so hopefully this uh, will be an uptrend now i have one more about backed um, i know there's some new updates with them um, so here's this one it's bullish backed company launches new products as futures trading surges each time BTC rallies past the all-important $10,000 mark, analysts seek to attribute the rise to major events occurring across the industry. The crypto sector is young, volatile, and one major announcement can send ripples across the market. In recent weeks, the market was on a downward trend, but a number of major occurrences have lip lifted the spirits of the industry participants. Backed, a company that focuses on driving institutional investment in crypto, has long been hyped as playing an important role in impacting market valuations. But Backed's product launches have not always matched up with its reputation. Back in September, the company launched a much vaunted futures platform. Regardless of hype from the community and analysts alike, the project saw just 71 BTC, about $700,000 at the time, paltry figures for a project that was touted as a favorite to draw in serious institutional investment. Since the muted launch of the futures platform, volumes have grown with two notable spikes during the last week. Bull in the China Shop Chinese President Xi Jinping's call for blockchain innovation to be accelerated in the country has seemingly zapped a languishing market back into action. 
Bitcoin immediately shot up to over $10,500 and many altcoins rode the wave firmly back into the green. Many crypto platforms experienced a boost in volume and Backed was no different. According to data from the Twitter-based monitoring resource Backed Volume Bot, Backed traded 1,183 Bitcoin, $11 million futures on Friday. Since the launch of the futures platform, volumes have mostly been well below $1 million a day. The massive spike in trading was a 257% increase on the previous jump, a record that had only recently been set at 441 BTC futures contracts, $4.8 million, on October 23rd. At press time, the total volume is over 616 traded contracts, down 48% on the previous day of trading. And here's a chart here of back Bitcoin futures daily trading volume. And then it shot up here. Options. As the volumes on Back's futures platform grow, the firm announced on October 24th that it would launch the first regulated options contracts for Bitcoin on December 9th. In a press release, Back announced the options contracts would comprise of capital efficiency, cash or physical settlement, low fees, and European sell options. The firm also said an inbuilt messaging service would allow traders to communicate while carrying out block trades, options, and analytics. Although the options service will launch fee-free, Backs will... Backs will begin charging $1.25 per contract from January 2020. Omar Baum, a content creator and frequent commentator on developments across the industry, explained to Cointelegraph why options are considered a fairly safe bet for investors in comparison to futures. They allow speculators to have the option but not obligation to finalize an expected short or long position call put. Futures pay out gains losses daily and can hurt of certain positions are held. Uh, options really only hurt traders via whatever they paid for the contract premium. Price of opening the contract. Options will attract a whole other ma mature class of speculators to Backed, which could drive much more volume to the platform. Baum told Cointelegraph that Backed's option service could further increase institutional investment in cryptocurrency, as Backed caters to institutional players with big capital, increased volume from options should be get even more volume as the platform's credibility grows. He went on to add that because Backed requires BTC for settlements, it could drive the demand for crypto. While many analysts were initially disappointed by Backed's early BTC futures volumes, Baum outlined his view to Cointelegraph that both platforms will grow organically over time. Backed will continue to become an institutional household name due to their association with ICE. As volumes grow, this will expedite even faster future growth. Prominent crypto analyst on Twitter, Dave The Wave, also told Cointelegraph that Backs Options launch would funnel more institutional money into crypto markets. The analyst explained that the boost in liquidity could reduce volatility, leading to an eventual rise in prices. Joseph Edwards, head of research for Enigma Securities, an institutional and corporate-facing over-the-counter crypto firm, told Cointelegraph that regulated Bitcoin options will benefit the industry long-term. In the short term, while we're optimistic and we see greater and quicker utility than was the case for the monthly futures release, we suspect that the market still have September's lesson in memory and that it will be unlikely to move the needle either way. While Edwards takes a dim view of the service that Backed is currently offering, he admitted that the discrepancy in volume since the platform's launch could come down to low usage from day traders, adding that what Backed currently offers in terms of its futures product does not provide game-changing utility. For Edwards, although the ripples from the Chinese government's shift on blockchain might have an immediate effect, it could be unwise to assume that institutional investment will be similarly impacted. We are taking a wait and see approach here and would caution against assuming too much too quickly. The real implications for development are more likely going to be felt in the one to three year time span than right away. We see it as fairly neutral for institutional interests in the short term. Backed pairs up with Starbucks. Although most of Backed's commercial services have targeted institutional investment, the firm announced its entrance into the mobile payment sector with the new app-based project. Building on the momentum of the record volumes witnessed in its Bitcoin futures platform, the company announced in an October 28th blog post that it would launch an app to help customers unlock the value of digital assets. Thin on substance but big on ambition, the announcement revealed that the coffee behemoth Starbucks would accept digital payments in its stores. Starbucks Vice President of Partnerships and Payments Maria Smith said, Starbucks will play a pivotal role in developing practical, trusted, and regulated applications for consumers to convert their digital assets into U.S. dollars for use at Starbucks.
It remains unclear exactly how BACT will exchange digital assets into USD at points of sale. Smith indicated that the system for Starbucks Rewards, which has around 15 million members, could serve as a template for the payment scheme. Mike Novogratz, head of cryptocurrency merchant bank Digital Galaxy, tweeted his view that the venture from BACT and Starbucks is a sign that crypto acceptance is just around the corner. Follow this space, i.e., this is a big deal. Crypto acceptance is coming. Back to launch consumer app in the first half of 2020 will test product with Starbucks. Joe Weisenthal, editor of Bloomberg Business and prominent finance commentator, criticized no- Novogratz tweets, commenting that coffee can already be bought with a wide range of payment systems and that the introduction of a crypto option was unlikely to change anything, saying, I disagree. It is incredibly easy to buy coffee these days with a range of payment systems, and I can't fathom how or why a crypto-based system will improve anything. So I will keep you guys posted on that. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I think I agree with the first commentator with um, what they stated I think crypto acceptance is just around the corner there's so many more places that are accepting it Um, even people that don't even know there's ways to use your wallet on you know on your phone and pay at stores so it's pretty cool Um, so we will see how this goes and where this kind of goes in the future but we will continue posting videos hopefully every other day Um, so sorry about the delay Um, but I will see you in the next video